On Friday, I awoke at 10 o'clock and ate a small breakfast. My appetite didn't improve, and I've been too tired and weak to prepare meals for myself. I listened to the radio during lunch. Protests were being organized throughout the city. At 11 o'clock, a friend visited to say hello. She told me that she and her boyfriend were moving to Germany in order to create a better life for themselves. Soon after, she left the apartment, and I told her that I hoped to see her again soon. shooting these, uh, these tear gas canisters? They did, Frank. Uh, we were standing there. They said that there was a five-minute warning. They said you are to disperse or people will be arrested for unlawful assembly. My friend left at 11.30, and she told me that I could visit her in Germany once she was settled. She told me she had been participating in the protests and that she was comforted by the idea of a better future created by her efforts. She said that life would one day be better for all of us and that sacrifice is needed to be made now in order to enjoy the benefits of a more just society later on. Soon after, she left the apartment and I told her that I hoped to see her again soon. this morning, although I left the apartment at 10 o'clock. I went for a walk around the neighborhood. The streets were surprisingly quiet and the weather was chilly. I walked for 10 or 15 minutes before losing my breath. I stopped in the middle of the sidewalk and returned to the apartment. At one o'clock, I ate a small lunch and was visited by a friend two hours later. I don't know what happened, but a cop split her head open with a baton. She got knocked down, dragged around, arrested. They kept he her told me that he was participating in the protests and that the police were becoming increasingly violent. He stayed in the apartment a short while and then left and expressed his well wishes. You cannot do this kind of thing unless it's online all the time. You need people to see this, you know? I spoke to my sister this morning. She told me that our parents were making arrangements to visit me. 
I noticed today that it was very difficult for me to walk more than 20 feet without having to stop and rest. I slept until noon. My cough worsened last night, and it was difficult for me to sleep comfortably for more than an hour at a time. I spoke to my father this afternoon and asked him to cancel his trip to the apartment. He said that he spoke about me to his cousin, who is now a priest in the city and who wanted to visit and talk to me. I told my father that I was too tired to accept visitors, but he insisted that I invite him here and speak to him. that they may have pain here on earth, that they may suffer. He arrived at four o'clock. He was a kind man, and he told me that I shouldn't worry about being ill. He told me to accept a better life after death. After he left, I returned to bed and tried to sleep. The street protests turned into riots and became louder and more violent. I must have fallen asleep quickly, because I don't remember what happened after. Let's pray. 